I've been hosting Setup Wars for 10 years already. The very first episode of my baby, my longest running series ever, was uploaded on June 1st, 2015. Technically, it's already been over a month since then, but I want to make the 10th anniversary a little special. And I'm having a bit of deja vu because I feel like the 9th anniversary, I did something similar. To bless all of your eye holes, I'm going to be showcasing 10 minimalistic setups. Albeit very briefly, so it's not going to be a super long episode, but I'm still bringing you guys 10 fresh setups. The fact that this series has lasted this long is still something I can't comprehend but the fact that you guys keep coming back every Monday to watch the show gives me enough motivation to continue and I just want to say it has been an absolute honor to be hosting this for the past 10 years so I'll be giving you guys one setup for every single year that we lasted and I really want to say just thank you so much for the support over the past 10 years anyways with that said sit back and relax and let the setup wars begin Working with AI can be a blessing and a curse. I mean, it helps you throughout mundane tasks, but there are so many models now that you don't know which one to use anymore. Why can't we just have them all in one place? Well, now you can, thanks to Chat LLM Teams from Abacus AI. It's your all-in-one command center, giving you access to all the popular models from OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, and many more in a single window. You just need to type your prompt once, and the built-in route LLM will automatically grab the model that answers best, so that way you don't have to play pinball on your browser. And it's not just text-based models. The same goes for AI image and video generation, and all of that for only $10 a month. That's way cheaper than even a single subscription on any of those platforms. All the features you'd wish for, like talking to your PDF documents, coding, research, are all packed into this one single hub. All that horsepower for only $10 a month is an absolute steal. So click my link in the description section or my pinned comment to check it out. We are kicking things off with Dennis, a 37-year-old landscape gardener from Denmark who spent over two years perfecting his space. The setup feels effortlessly cozy, super clean with a ton of personality. Most of what you see here is homemade actually, including those movie barcodes on the wall. They're essentially a mashup of the average colors from every scene in a film, which is a brilliant idea. From the custom touches, I especially like the built-in USB hub in the desk and all the handmade shelves packed with his favorite retro gaming classics, consoles, movies, and even board games paying tribute to his gaming roots. He kept the peripherals with the wireless Logitech MX combo, creative Pebble speakers, and the SteelSeries Arctis 7 headphones hanging underneath the desk for those casual gaming nights. To keep the desk surface clear, the PC is actually mounted upside down beneath the desk using steel welded together and a custom hook for easy release. He even added nuts and bolts to the case so he can literally hang it down from there. Very clever. Even though you can't see it from the front, cable management is next on his to-do list. The cables are currently just bundled behind the right desk leg, and what might have been fine for somebody else, it just isn't it for Dennis. Can't wait to see what else you've got planned, my friend. The setup already balances function and nostalgia perfectly. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Next up is Jacob, a returning contestant from Croatia, who was part of episode 243. He's a mechanical engineer who uses this space to work during the day and game at night. He's still rocking the corner desk layout with the IKEA Basta drawer, a custom countertop, and some Olaf legs for support. And if I were to compare this to the setup from four years ago, visually not much has changed. He added three Batman displays for a splash of personality and an extra Alex drawer with a printer on top for work, while keeping the rest true to the minimalistic aesthetic. Everything is nicely sorted and organized both on the outside and on the inside. He did upgrade his monitor to an LG Ultra Gear, which he mounted to the wall to keep the desk space clean. He's still using the same G915 Lightspeed keyboard, but switched to the G502X Plus mouse, while the audio gear stayed consistent as well. Cables are practically non-existent. I love how everything is routed perfectly through cable raceways into the wall outlet. Nicely done. The addition of the USB hubs for quick access and a power dock for his laptop and other gear is the cherry on top for functionality. He's definitely got everything under control here. The PC saw major upgrades, now featuring an i9-14900K 
and an RTX 4090, proving that minimalism doesn't have to mean compromise. The subtle lighting during darker hours and the separate console and entertainment setup complete the whole room, making it a great place for both work and then chill after clocking out. Love to see it. Thank you, Jacob, for being on the show. Next in line is King Julian, a student from France who crafted his minimal setup for gaming and productivity. He gets plenty of natural light thanks to the two windows in his room one in the front and one to the left. But before you say anything, he does have exterior drop down shades. So the sun isn't blasting him in the face while he's at the desk. He's running a T layout, a 27 inch LG as the main and a 24 inch AOC as a secondary, both mounted to a wooden tabletop that's supported by a pair of Alex drawers. The desk itself is clean, just his speakers, peripherals and the PC taking up most of the space. It's a white and black rig with an i5 12600K and a PNY RTX 4070. You know, it's always fun to see how people spice up their setups. You often see a wall of sneakers, gaming or pop culture memorabilia, even mouse pads like you've seen in my setup, or in this case, case caps. Fashion pieces are a great way to show your interest and also inject some color, just like Julian did here. The rest of the room follows that laid back, minimal vibe with a full wall of slat panels, a couple of framed artworks, and some fake vines giving off a warmer atmosphere. Well done, Julian, and thank you for coming on the show. Setup number four belongs to Matt, a student from Ontario and the youngest contestant of this episode. The second I saw that angled keyboard, I instantly thought you were a fart nut sweat. But luckily, your notes mentioning Warzone saved the day. In fact, aside from the tilted keyboard, I'd never guess this setup belongs to a 15 year old. By the way, I do recommend buying a wrist rest for your keyboard. Your hands will thank you in the next 10 years. We do offer wood themed as well as an acrylic wrist rest on our shop. If you want to check it out, I'll drop a link to it below. The layout is very similar to Julian's. We have two monitors in a T layout, a Samsung G5 Ultralight as the main and a 32 inch LG monitor in vertical mode. Plus his peripherals and the PC off to the right with a green vine on top of it. A very straightforward but functional setup. He mainly games and watches YouTube, so it does exactly what he needs. Let's see what you're reading there. Oh, hell no, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna comment on that. Usually monitors are sandwiched by speakers, but here they are actually flanking the setup from the far sides. It's a pair from Athena that he borrowed from his dad, who, judging by the quotation marks and notes, probably isn't getting them back. As for the PC, it's a dark build inside the Fractal Meshify C, powered by the Ryzen 5 3600X and a Founders Edition RTX 3080 Ti. Cable work is overall solid. The monitor wires are strapped to the stands with Velcro and everything runs behind the desk with the slack and power brick tucked into a rack that looks like it's hanging on for dear life. Very chill and minimal. Nice work, Matt, and thank you for participating. The moment I saw this setup, I thought, there's no way this is used for gaming. We've got huge screen real estate, but practically zero room to swing a mouse or rest your forearms. And I was right. Mohammed is a graphic designer from Istanbul, showing us what professional minimalism really looks like. He used to be a gamer with a custom PC, but when work got serious, he sold it and he built a productivity focused workspace instead. Since all of his work is visual, the stars of the show are from the monitors, both from LG. We have 34 inches up top and a 27 inch below. If you guys remember, I ran an angled bottom monitor myself at one point, but constantly tilting your head down at such a steep angle can cause neck problems over time. I'm obviously not a healthcare professional, but I do hope you're not craning your neck for hours. I do recommend raising that panel a little bit if you can. So this is powered by an M4 Mac Mini, which means almost no cable to deal with. And from the front, it's spotless. Underneath the desk though, we can see an adapter dangling down. Not a huge deal since it's all in the shadows, but if you don't unplug it often, I'd mount it to the tabletop or slide it into a little custom bracket just so the slack disappears. I also see that you cracked open the wall panels to run the wires through them. I mean, it's not the prettiest solution, but it is hidden, so I guess it works. A tight, distraction-free workspace, Mohammed. Thank you for sending this in. Coming at number six is Ricky with a much brighter theme. 
He's a UX design and web development student from Indianapolis who's been refining his setup for years. He actually started the journey when he first watched season one of Setup Wars about nine years ago. Hearing that so much was inspired by videos and setups from the channel never gets old. I mean, it's proof of the impact all of us are having on the setup world. Cheers to that. He's rocking dual Acer displays, both mounted to the desk, and a pair of white wireless peripherals, the Keychron V1 Max and the Logitech G502 X Lightspeed. All of it sits on top of our beautiful AR15 mouse pad in white, which is currently our number two seller, right below the black version of the AR15. The PC on the right is anything but minimal, in the best way possible, of course. It's a gorgeous fish tank build inside the O11 Vision Compact, powered by Ryzen 7 7700X and an RX 7 XT. The personality touches are great. My favorite is that Levi Funko Pop stuck in the custom 24 pin cable. With his head up there, it literally looks like he's being held up by a Titan. And now I can't unsee it. In terms of cable management, no complaints here. Everything is routed cleanly right behind the Alex drawer with zero wires visible from the front. A great minimal den with character. Ricky, thank you so much for sharing this with us. I don't think we've ever had a submission from Luxembourg on the show. If we did, my apologies, but either way, Salim is a student who put together this colorful corner setup and has been upgrading it for the past six years to get it to this point. It all started with his dad's laptop when he was around 12 years old, then his own laptop and eventually a custom PC. Since it's mainly used for gaming, a high refresh rate display was a must. He went with a T layout with two Lenovo panels. We got a 34 inch 165 Hz ultra wide as the main and a 24 inch 1080p panel as the secondary. For peripherals, he's rocking a custom keyboard and a Rocat mouse combo. And while he does have an Echo Dot on the desk, the main audio source are the SteelSeries Arctis 3s hanging underneath the desk. Cable wise, everything looks under control down here. Two cable racks hold up the bulk of it and he drilled a hole in the backboard to route the monitor and PC cables through. The PC is a custom build in the NZXT H510 Flow with an i5-12400F and a Gigabyte RX 7800XT OC. I'm guessing that's a photo of you and your dad, which is a super wholesome touch, adding personality. And personality definitely isn't lacking. The desk itself is minimal, but the walls and shelves are packed with posters and collectibles. We've got Hot Wheels cars, Pringles cans, which I assume are limited edition. Otherwise, why would you collect them? <laughs> and Prime bottles. Ugh, why are Prime drinks so popular in teen setups? Do parents not monitor what their kids are drinking these days? Either way, Salim, your den is a great example of keeping things streamlined while still lively with personality. Thank you for participating. We've got another Mac setup today and belongs to Vijay. He's a student who spent the past three years building his own hub for gaming, schoolwork, and content creation. The foundation is a relatively small 30 by 48 inch folding table, which by the looks of it does the job, but it might be too light for any heavy gear. That's why it was smart keeping the surface relatively clear. The heaviest things on here are probably the two 24 inch Asus monitors mounted to the edge of the desk and the M2 Mac Mini. He did opt for wireless peripherals. We got a Keychron K8 and a Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. Considering you play games, the MX Master 2S works for less action-packed titles, but for something like CSGO and Fortnite, like you mentioned in the notes, it'd be probably better off to grab a secondary mouse that's meant for shooters. Just some food for thought. I do love how you routed the speaker cables through the cable channels towards the wall mounted speakers. However, you could tilt them slightly more downward to get the full audio experience. Otherwise, the sound would be going over your head, pun intended. And judging by the shelves between them, my guy is a fan of Rubik's Cubes, but also music. We can see that from the guitar on the right side and all those trophies with musical notes on the left. A solid bedroom setup, Vijay, thank you for coming on the show. This next setup takes minimalism in the most literal sense. It belongs to Vlad, a concrete pump operator from Oregon who grabbed the essentials, put them together, and still made a visually pleasing setup. It took him only 20 hours to put the room together, and as you can see, it's got exactly what you need to call it a setup. A custom butcher block on top of Alex drawers. We got a curved 45 inch LG Ultra Gear display, a pair of Logitech peripherals on a mouse pad, his PC, a router, and of course his chair. Nothing more and nothing less. The whole purpose of the setup is gaming. 
And honestly, looking at the rest of the photos, it feels like the entire purpose of this room is to house this setup. That to me is true minimalism. Function and form blended together without distractions. The slat panels on the walls frame everything beautifully and are cut precisely around the outlets and switches. I love how there are literally zero cables visible, and from what I can tell, they're all hidden behind the Alex drawers. While the craftsmanship of the slat panels are spot on, personally, I think it's a little too much. You know, the purpose of the slat panels are to add an accent wall, not to cover all the walls in your room. Otherwise, it looks like a luxurious, insane asylum, but to each their own. Take a look into the PC, the cable work is pristine, even though it's a tiny mini ITX build. It features the Fractal Terra, a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D processor, and an RTX 4080 Super. Truly stunning work here, Vlad. It screams elegance, function, and performance. Thank you for sharing this with us. The last setup of the day, funnily enough, features both a Fractal Terra and a Mac. It comes all the way from Singapore and belongs to Wen, an engineer who put it together for gaming, studying, and work. It's a beautifully minimalist ergonomic workspace, features a single 27-inch LG monitor mounted to the desk and a pair of wireless peripherals, the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini and a G304 mouse. Everything ties together cleanly with the light wood tones, the splashes of the white from his mouse pad, the speakers and even his iPad case. The PC may be small, but the specs are just as solid like Vlad's. We have a Ryzen 7 7700 and a Gigabyte RTX 4070. You know, setups are personal. Some people need more, others need less. And I love seeing how limited spaces can still be utilized to fit all the essentials and still look effortless. A fantastic example of practical minimalism and comfort when thank you for coming on the show. Wrapping up the 10th anniversary of Setup Wars with 10 setups was definitely the right call, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comment section which of these setups was your personal favorite, and if you guys are still enjoying the show even after 10 freaking years, let me know. Let me know in the comment section, toss a like, and I'll continue for another 10 years, assuming I'm still alive. Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. I hope I'm still alive.